Hi everyone, Moira McDonald here. Uh, we junk journal, we Scottish junk journal again. Um, it's uh, not your kind of traditional junk journal. It's it's not all flowers and happiness. I'm afraid. Um, you can have a wee look at it and see what you think. I've done it trying to um, just show you some stuff from the history of Scotland. You can you can be the judge. Front cover is it, oh by the way it's made from um, an envelope. It's quite small in size. Maybe we done it in all fine It is roughly four and a half by a, maybe just over six and a quarter. Um, I've decorated it by sewing on some tartan and I have added three sprigs of fabric white heather here. White heather is regarded as being lucky in Scotland. I've got a wee kind of pinkish daisy and some leaves that uh, are fabric as well. Can you bear with me just a wee second because the dog's whimpering so I'll just let her out. Hold on. Right on you go. Sorry about that, dog's in and out like a yo-yo. Um, I've got a wee bulb pin down the bottom here and I have put a little Celtic charm on it. Uh, there's some fabric here, a bit of tartan, same tartan as the book, added on as well. And the image is, it was described, I found it on Pinterest, it was described as a Carlton women. Calton is an area in Glasgow that's uh, very working class. Um, the picture itself, I, I downloaded it, printed it obviously, um, distressed it, tore the edges just to add to the effect. Um, it's, I'm not sure when it was taken. I would estimate probably around the turn of the century, maybe up to 1910. Possibly even 1920. It's, it's difficult to say, but uh, they don't appear. The lasses don't appear to have coats, which wouldn't surprise me really, because they probably wouldn't have had the money for a coat. So they'll have something like a blanket wrapped around them. And I noticed when I was looking, this lassie here's in bare feet. So she obviously didn't have shoes either, and she's outside. And I'll tell you something for nothing. Scotland's not a warm country. So that lassie must have been gay hardy, although chances are she was lucky if she made it in her forties. Uh, back's just completely plain, with the customary wee bit of paper stuck to it. Right, so we'll have a wee quick glancey poo through and you can see what you think. Um, the inside's just lined with the fabric again. Um, it's a wee bit rough around the edges, so it'll fray with the passage of time. I did a hidden uh, signature here, there's only one signature, it's hidden in as far as I've sewed it to craft text and then just uh, glued the craft text into the inside of the envelope. A wee corrugated uh, cardboard tag with a wee heart on top of it and it's been, I've painted it over kind of roughly in a sort of distressed fashion way, a kind of copper style colour of paint. So here we've got uh, just a wee bit of torn tartan paper and scotch flag. The papers are uh, varying shades. I used a white paper and I've also used uh, some uh, ivory coloured paper throughout. I ripped all of the edges and distressed with vintage photo. Um, I used Ivy Shutter's uh, Outlander kit again. Not the entire kit but just some of it. Um, because obviously it's Scottish theme being from Outlander. On the other side here I have a die cut negative of a thistle. Uh, it's a Scottish book page with a wee bit of um, tartan fabric that I've frayed the edge of, a couple of different laces and a wee metal embellishment. Another book page with a wee bit of stamping uh, and 
a different tartan paper. I've used a couple of different tartan papers throughout. Here we've got our first tuck spot and I have wee metal embellishment on top and a little envelope that I made together with, um, ironically, I, I don't know what it is, but they seem to have an aversion in Hollywood when they're making films about Scotland to include Scottish people in them. So this is from the film Rob Roy with uh, Liam Neeson, who's Irish, um, but I suppose that's near enough. I have so drowned it and uh, it's on tea stain paper at the back and that's just a wee bit of ephemera that I've stamped out for you. Got a, just a piece of tartan as a fabric page, frayed at the edge. Uh, another page with a tartan. Uh, again, it's, it's they're all very distressed because I was wanting to kind of keep that as the, the image of the book. The book page with a wee bit of layering here, a wee bit of ephemera that I've glued down, um, Western Highlands. And it's a wee guy sitting with sheep out in the, the fields. Um, on a wee bit of tartan again, a wee bit of lace. It's just a doily that has been ripped as well and distressed. It's um, coffee stained as well. All of the papers coffee stained and uh, stamped on. Oh, another tuck spot here. Uh, just another wee stamp. Memories are meant to be made, not forgotten. And oh, here are a couple of photographs. This one is of, yeah, it's not the best of photographs, it's from the best of quality. It's a photograph of Glen Cole. And Glencoe is where um, the clan MacDonald was uh, slaughtered, shall we say. The massacre of Glencoe is quite famous. Uh, February 1692 by the looks of things. And this is the grave stone of the chief of the clan, uh, McKeon, chief of MacDonald's. Uh, we went to Glencoe a few years back on holiday and as luck would have it, my brother was also there at the same time and we ran into him. Um, so it was it was a nice day out. Glencoe's a... a it says, I've never seen Glencoe when the weather's good, but I'm sure it's lovely. Uh, it's always very, very misty and very um, evocative of uh, the massacre, if you like. You, know, you can you can really get the feeling when you're there. Um, if you've watched Outlander, you'll recognise this guy. I think it's is it Graham McTavish. He's an Outlander. Oh, there a wee Scotty dog, and um, he's just tucked in here. Done a wee ticket with the word freedom on it. Let's face it, William Wallace, freedom. Uh, we butterfly here on top of some tartan paper. So you tuck him in there, and we do not remember days. We remember moments. Or if you're me, you remember very little. Uh, here we've got a wee lace page, which literally is just a piece of lace. And, oh, there's Junky Monkey! Made in. Um, this paper clip is holding on, there's one on the other side as well, a couple of postcards I made. Uh, digital postcards. This is an image of an old back court in Glasgow. I'm conscious of the fact that uh, everybody always has very, very romantic notions of Scotland because what they see is outlander and they see the hills and the fields and oh how wonderful and beautiful it all is. Um, but the reality is the big cities are really very, very different and have always been very, very different. Uh, these tenement properties here, um, some still exist to this day. Many have been knocked down. I think this photograph's quite probably from either the 50s or the 60s. But this was this was how we live. Uh, I, you know, I was I was born in a tenement, um, not as old as that. Don't think, because the one I was born in is still there today, and it's been renovated quite considerably. But the, there were many, many houses like this throughout the city of Glasgow and indeed I'm sure the other cities within Scotland. Um, that's held on the paper clip. 
Now we've got our tartan paper and Scottish flag and there's another red postcard I made and it's it's using that image from the front again of the, the Carlton women. Uh, so it's just one of the digital images that I rustled up to go with this. So we've got a doily, book page and I've added a wee frame that I die cut out, corrugated card and again it's been kind of painted with copper paint. We've got a layer in here of uh, ribbons and tartan. My, my centre of my signature has got little wooden beads on it and I've tied at the bottom to hold the wee beads in place. Um, I thought wooden beads was was quite good to go with something that I was planning and making that was fairly rustic in its look. This page has got some layered tartan again. Uh, this image is of a wee woman cutting, uh, you know, she'll have been cutting the peat up in the highlands quite possibly that they would use for fires. Um, we've got some layered crocheted lace and a wee button here. A bit of fabric along with a tartan paper and the other side of the lace. Uh, there's Scotland stamp again. And a wee thistle, which is the emblem of Scotland. And uh, here's the die cut thistle. We saw the die cut uh, negative earlier in the book. A wee envelope I made. Uh, it's got a wee saying on it. No, it's not a Scottish saying. It says, Receive thanks, blessings, love for tho these thy lavish boons, O thou that givest us flowers. And I've got a picture of a couple of wee bus conductresses. Not sure when this is from, quite possibly 40s or 50s. And I've got on me kilts. Kilts are usually worn by men, by the way. Women very rarely wear, wear kilts. Kilts were designed for men. And another wee piece of ephemera there. That's my tartan page. My thistle again. We've got layering. And another one with another wee freedom ticket. Uh, Mel Gibson wasn't Scottish either, was he? That's the, the postcard that I showed you. That's the original image of the wee lassie standing in the back court. And this is another uh, digital image that I made. So, there you go. And that's the back. So the book itself is held together with, I've not counted the pages, so I can't tell you exactly uh, how many there'll be, but I'll count it out before I go to add it to Etsy. It'll be for sale in my Etsy shop, which is Bygones Cards, and there'll be a link below. Um, if you'd like to leave me a message as regards the book, and um, how you feel about it, what you think of its, its layout, and what's up within it. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Oops, get it in the camera shot. So, that's us. Um, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And ideally, thank you for doing me the wee thumbs up. I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.